Hello everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. My name is Nintendo Man God, aka Lord Fluffy, and no, this is not part 8, this is part 9. It may appear that I'm in the exact same place, and I am. Thing is, you have to come through this place twice. So, you have to deal with all this crap twice. Yeah, it's annoying, I know. Get over it. So yeah, you have to come through this place like twice. But there's a specific part where it just splits off into the second path where you can go. And if you recall, even though I didn't mention it last time, from that kid that we rescued, we got a handle program. Now, wasn't there a faucet without a handle? Hmm. Thought process. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, we used that handle program over by that one faucet that didn't have a handle. That's what we're gonna do. And if these battles could stop interrupting me, that would be great. <laughs> No, go that way. There you go. Thank God for escape chips, eh? Means I don't have to edit this part out, because editing this takes, like, approximately 20 minutes longer. No, not 20 minutes, what am I saying? Editing these videos with all the editing of the, all the, uh... Editing out all these battles and stuff, and, you know, getting everything to work properly, it takes about 30 minutes, so... Yeah, we use the handle program here. <coughs> Sorry. I have a little bit of a cough right now, so... Shouldn't be recording, but I'm, I'm also a little cold. Or, have a little bit of a cold, too. Damn you, cold weather in March! But yeah, so I'm recording this now because I need to get some parts going, right? can't just have nothing, right? Ooh, our cover ADC. I'll take that. We'll place that one of the recover 10s I have, because, again, nobody cares about these recover 10s. I mean, nobody really does. They're kind of pointless, and I'm not talking very loud, and I can see that Audacity doesn't consider me to be very loud unless I'm saying specific words. It's very interesting, to say the least. I can tell that editing out all these battles and stuff now is going to take me a lot more time than before, because, uh, Let's just say, the last time, it took me about half an hour to edit it fully, and now there's going to be a crap ton more battles. So, yeah. God, that was a piece of shit in round. God, next. Ugh. So this, um, dungeon, shall we call it, f***ing wild battles, I'm just going to keep talking through this one. Um... They're not really, like, difficult to figure out. I mean, there's a couple points where move maneuvering around in it will be difficult, but, like, it's nothing, like, impossible to figure out. Like, you know, you'll spend two years on it and then, you know, figure it out two years later and go, like, Derp, how did I not figure that out? Well, it was kind of hard to figure out in the first place, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to figure it out. Ugh, <sighs> anyway. It's really tedious to, like, edit this, but... It's not like I don't enjoy playing the game. Like, I enjoy playing the game as much as I have overplayed the hell out of it. I think of all the handheld games that I've owned and played, I think Mega Man Battle Network is second only to the Pokemon games I own, which would be Gold and... S no. I, have act I actually have Red, Blue, and Yellow, and I also have Gold, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So I have every single last bit of the um, first and second generation games. It's kind of cool, honestly, because, like, first and second generation are my two favorite generations. Um, it's not just because of nostalgia. It's because I actually think the Pokemon, you know, the level, the world designs, and, you know, I thought they were all better in those generations. I didn't think, like, no, don't turn the water on a second time. I just thought they were just better. Like, Generation 3 was crap. The Pokemon were crap. Uh, Sapphire was only the really the only tolerable one of those, but, like, the Pokemon were just crap, if you ask me. And not to mention, the way the world was set up was also crap. In Generation 4, I actually admit I have never played Generation 4 Pokemon. I've played Generation 5, I didn't exactly have much in the way of appreciation towards the Pokemon in it, but I definitely have to say, po Generation 5 intrigued me enough to play through the whole thing. Um, that being said, however, don't ask me any questions about it, because the whole experience is pretty vague. In my mind, that is. Like, I don't really remember much, as it was really for when it first came out, and... Oh, God. Alright. This is one of the places I despise coming to, because... 
first of all, I'm trying to look down below and see, you know, where do I gotta slide to get X or Y, and like, it's retarded, really. But slide here doesn't get you anywhere. It just completely screwed me over, and I chose the wrong path, so... I might have to edit it out a little bit, because, yeah, here comes a battle. I'll, oh, God, right. Now these motherfuckers are in the whole thing. Ugh. These sword guys have 200 HP, and they are bitches to deal with. Which is why I'm going to slay him as fast as I possibly can with this... No, and I should have done sword, steel, and then over sword, and then charged up my buster, done that, and then waited for, and then, yeah. You see, it goes through my mind like what I could have done because I always make stupid decisions afterwards. And no, you're dead, so go away. But yeah, um, I'm trying to just figure out where exactly I'm supposed to slide. I, it's not there, I can tell you that much, because that puts me like nowhere and. What it ends up doing is it screws me over. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the freaking hell I'm supposed to go. One thing I really like about this unlimited time limit now is I can record for, like, say, 30 minutes and end up getting, like, a 14-minute part or something like that. You know, it'll be fine, you know. Or I can record for, you know, 20 minutes and end up getting a 20-minute part. You know, it really, it really, it's really great to know that, like, I don't have to depend on random shit. Ah, there we go. So right there, you slide on that particular one, then you come over here, and you turn on the faucet. The faucet will then go ahead and and melt the ice on this particular section, causing you to be able to walk on it. Being said, however, I still to this day f***ing hate this place. Like, it just... It, it, it. Hey, there's an item there. I can get... No! What did you just do? Well, at least it was over here, so I didn't screw myself over completely. There's an item there, and interested to see what it is. Huh, is it this one? Please tell me I got the right one. Ha, huh, power up, sweet. Are you, wait, really, really? Oh, man. Oh, I don't think I ever got this before. Holy shit. Alrighty. Attack power go up. Alright, so next. Oh, wait, there's five slots? I just noticed now, I'm just. Or is it six? Smegging balls, man. Smegging balls. Anyway, next one to be upgraded will be Rapid, for any of you who may be thinking, Why don't you upgrade Rapid? It's actually useful. <laughs> what is my rebuttal, you may ask? Here's my rebuttal. I don't care. Yeah, but these sword guys, they're a bitch. They move fast, they do a lot of damage, and they steal your spaces. It is an ass to fight these guys sometimes. When there's two of them, you are royally screwed if you don't kill one right away. But anyway, yeah, I chose the right path here, and um, now we can come over here to get to this faucet. But the fact that I got that power-up makes me happy. I don't think I ever found that power-up before, because I'm always looking at a small screen, but now that I'm looking on my, like, um, emulator... No, not emulator. It's not an emulator. herp a derp a derp a derp a derp a derp Anyway, we slide back over here. Now, what you're, what you're gonna want to do is slide out to there and figure out a nice little angle where you can slide right off the platform. Ah! Now, as I was saying... Wow, that was a voice crack. Um, I totally didn't mean to do that. I totally didn't. But, um, like that. That's how you do it. And that's, like, the quickest I have ever solved that place. I feel proud of myself. That was actually pretty quick, and I felt pro. I feel pro about that. Yeah. But anyway, it's, um... From here on out, it's basically just a dead end of sorts. Like... Yeah. <laughs> a thousand zennies to me, mother. Oh my, I don't want to slide on there. I'll slide right off, and thank God for escape chips. This is the worst fossil combination. That red guy... That red guy, that, um... <sighs> that red guy and those two sword guys, combination. Oh god, I don't want to deal with that ever. Never, 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 ever, never. Ever. Ever. Just, just no. Just no. 
Anyway, so we turn that faucet on and off, it melts the ice. Come over here. Ugh. God damn it, that hurts. And then we... <sighs> well. My friend is fat. But you see, yeah, now we're doing three damage, and the damage is significantly... And the damage is also increased on the Charge Buster, too. I mean, look at that. That did way more than it did before, right? Of course it did. Ugh. I'm just gonna use one sword to take it out. But yeah, that's why I upgrade Rapid and shit like that before, so... That's what I do that for. And the Sword L, whatever. Um, don't slide over there. That's, that's stupid. That's a stupid idea. You... Oh god, I almost ran into the boss. Anyway, we're gonna save now because now we're at Proto Man, apparently with some Navi. What's going on here? You're late. It's all over. Hey, I told you not to interfere. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. I have to protect my son. That's right. I still had work to do. Oh, yeah? Well, how about a taste of this? Wait, these two aren't the real enemy. How can you say that? After so many people have suffered because of them? Yeah. Oh, Chad, sir, you have mail from HQ. <sighs> Proto Man, it looks like we've been had. There were decoy, there's, there's a WWWA rank operative somewhere. WWWA's after the Aqua program here. Aqua program? Isn't that one of the super programs? The WWW Navi must be somewhere in here. Let's find them. As you say, Lord Chad. W w wait! Now that he's gone, will you please listen to me? Silenced! I'm totally not doing the voice right. Yeah, if we break the WWE orders, my son. Lan? He's not listening. We have no choice. Battle routine set! Execute! So this is Iceman. Probably the biggest bitch I have ever faced in my life. I want the program advanced, so I'm just gonna stick with the Gutsman chip for now, because that'll restrict him to quite a bit of a... Uh, range differentiating but yeah um this will basically just start shooting the shit out of one of these things once he throws that ice block make sure you're make sure you move one over and one down but basically so now he's stuck in that one spot and oh god get me out of here but yeah when, it, when he hits you with those ice attacks he'll basically completely and utterly destroy you Oh god, I didn't get out of it in time. Oh. Destroy one of these ice blocks and it'll give you an ability. Ah, number man. This will do some damage. Ah, it'll do some damage, but it'll guarantee to hit him. So maybe that's a 10, maybe it's a 50. That's pretty good. I like 50. 50 is good. <sighs> oh no! That was close. Holy crap, that was close. Ugh. He's a really hard character to fight, um, Iceman is. You can barely ever get hits on him, and really, he does the same crap over and over again. No way! Got him! Okay. I took damage, but I got him. It's, it's good. We're good. We're good. I think I can use up two of these swords now. I seriously think I can. Come to the front. Come on, pussy! Ah, oh, you bitch! Okay, I hit him, and I need to use this recover 80, probably. Oh man, one more sword would have killed him too. And then he throws one, move over and down. Wait here with a charge buster until he gets in your line of sight. If he ever does, there we go. And that was it. So charge buster at level three will do 48 damage. And that's a lot. And we got. I'm sorry, Dr. Freud. There was nothing we can do. Now my son. No! Iceman, read this. Mega Man gave Iceman a message. What? Dr. Freud, this mail. Huh? This mail is my son's it. Well, your son is safe. Do you get it now? Yes, but after all I've done... We have to get the net, net back up and running. You... You're right, kid. Iceman. Yes, sir! Totally the wrong voices. I can't ever... I, I, that's why sometimes when I do voice recordings with, you know, actual voices, I sometimes do it post-commentary, but... I'm not gonna do that. Bet you think the Dentown Waterworks. Huh? Ooh, 
I'm so funny. You're better than the rest. Put down that alcohol program. Or else. No, no, we don't have time to play with you. But you will see this color man soon enough. Let's go. Okay, man. Later. It's that Navi from before. Yeah, you nosy scoundrels again. Chad. Who are you, and how do you know my name? That can wait. Why were they after the Aqua program? Find out for yourself. Proto Man, we're out of here. Sir. And yeah. Use that program to make taste good tasting water. But somehow I don't think that's what the WWW wants it. Lan? Hmm. I don't get it. Pull out. Let's go see Freud. Roger. So now we go and see the reunion between Freud and his son. Really, I don't know how to thank you. I'll do my best to keep it water clean from now on. Dad. Dad. I. I. Ah. Ah. Family. Yeah, you're right. Huh? I was expecting the usual sarcasm. You homesick, Lan? Me? Never. Okay. Time is tight now, Lan. This WWE plot keeps getting deeper and darker. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, we have to show that child we can what we can do. That's the spirit. And so Lan and Mega Man solved one mystery, but the WWW was getting closer to total control of the net. And why was the WWW collecting super programs? It was up to them to stop the WWW and bring peace to the net. <sighs> Plots in Dead City are failing recently. We're having some funding problems, too. This will slow down the entire WWW plot to control the net. What exactly is the problem? I, I don't know. A power. Apologies, Lord Whaley. It's just. What? Speak up! There's this one Navi operator team. <gasps> An official net battler, huh? Oh, it's just a boy by the name of Lan, but he's got this powerful Navi, Mega Man.exe. What are you saying? Our WWW Navi's can handle anything. No more excuses. Y yes, but... Silence, I said. Silence. No more failures. Delete all that's standing your way. Y yes, sir. I have a plan. Leave it to me. Then get to it. We await your favorable report. I'm off. Why, why, why? Must we get every super program by ourselves? We might not have gotten wood, but fire and aqua. You're right, but we must speak of life virus. It's so top secret, we're spot not supposed to know about it. I know, I know. Well, back to work. Lan. I wonder. Lan, I'm just about finishing page maintenance. Yeah. I work and work all day, and all you say is yeah? Hey, it's Roll. How about that? Hi, Omega! Hey, Roll. This is a letter from Mail to Lan. Okay, got it. Later. Later. Thanks. So that's all we got. Lan, you've got mail. So anyway, yeah. We just defeated the boss, and... We're gonna save now and call it quits because this is 27 worth of recording and I probably only have about maybe 17 minutes worth because probably 10 minutes of this was cut out battles and shit so so that's all that is and next time on Mega Man Battle Network we will read this mail and see what happens anyway see you guys later